Alright, Mike's over here. He's prepping his coil. I took it all the way down to the... That's the primary, right Mike? Yep, yep. Yeah, and Mike is right now, he's uh, lubing it up with that... Uh, scotch electric, coat. Yeah, scotch coat. A lot of guys know what that is. Yeah, and then he's he's putting... This, he's got fiber tape. Mm -hmm. Sometimes he said he uses friction tape, but... Uh, yeah, this is uh, just fiberglass, uh, 3M electrical tape, glass tape we call it. So, but we got... Uh, we got we unwound the primary one turn because uh, originally the the this is the lead that goes to the points was was broken off short so unla unwound one turn gives us plenty to solder to for the for the points wire and one one turn is not going to adversely affect the the primary winding that much so right. um, so have all the uh, well I wouldn't say all but most of the uh, insulation taken off from the secondary. And you can see the primary is exposed there. So I'm putting a layer of the glass tape on first, and then we can uh, put an in a layer of insulating paper over the wax paper, over the, the, the glass tape, and then we'll start winding the secondary on that. Okay. Um, so let me just show you one other thing. This is the tie point right here between the primary, the secondary, and ground. This little tab gets sandwiched, actually there's a rivet under, over here underneath this block here, goes under there and gets riveted to the to the ground of the coil, the armature essentially, and the one end of the primary is soldered to this tab, and this is the other end, one end of the secondary gets soldered to this tab, and the other end of the secondary is the little loop that goes right here, actually be up top here, which goes to the spark plug. Right. So, but that's the tie point right there. So that's where the, the primary starts. You I got that little loop over here. Let me show them what you're, they're talking about. All right. Here's a little loop Mike is talking about. It's, uh, it's where your spark plug attaches to. Right. All right. Now let me go over to the, the lathe here and show you what we're doing. All right, let me show you what, uh, what's going on here. At first, we, uh, we told you that our little lathe wasn't going to work here. You know, because if you, once you put it on here, you know, it was just going to, it was going to, going to hit the bar here, the rail, but uh, I thought about it, I was, I was going to make some kind of uh, attachment here with pulleys and stuff, you know, to give it, give us a little uh, rise, and then I was thinking that this chuck here goes all the way through on this side, and then I thought, I said, I wonder if we could do that, and it would, I stuck the thing in there and put it in a chuck, and it would work there. So I waited till the next morning, and I called Mike at six o'clock in the morning because I knew he was going to be up. And I asked him, "Does it matter which direction it, you wind it?" And he said, "No." I said, "Oh, then we can hook it up on the outside." Of this. He says, "Yeah, it's a good idea." So that's what we're going to do right now. Let me turn the light on here. There's a there's a bolt here that holds the cover on, and I'm going to extend that, and that'll actually hold our uh, our spool. And this this should actually work out pretty good for us. So let me get to that while Mike's working on the coil and getting that ready. All right, Mike's all ready now. He's, uh, he's soldering the secondary onto that little tab he showed you earlier. Right, this, is the, this is the start of the secondary winding, yep. All right. Yep, yep. So this is enameled wire, and the heat of the soldering iron is enough to break the enamel coating get a bond there. Oops. A little bit of dirt on this uh, piece here. Yeah, it's 80, 88 years old. Yeah. How you like that uh, soldering uh, machine there? Pretty, works pretty well. You probably can't buy these anymore, can Not you? Not that one. I don't even think Unger's around anymore. It's Weller, though. Weller and Unger. Never heard of it. That had specially built. Yeah. This wire is a little bit difficult to solder just because of its size. Yeah. All right. Well, I'll let you do that and uh, we'll get back to you. Okay. All right. Mike's got his first row of. Uh, What'd you call that, Mike? Windings. First layer. First layer of windings. That's what we call windings. And uh, you're gonna put a cover it with a, a layer of wax paper and tape. 
Yeah. I want to let you guys know, this this isn't a how-to video. We're just, it's more of a progress video because there's, there's so much more involved here that's that we're not showing you. So, uh, don't even waste your time saying you should have done this, you should have done that because it's probably been done. All right. See, Mike made a little slit in that wax paper there so he can slide it over. Yep, just like that. And then he's, he's got some scotch tape he's going to hold it in place with. Mm -hmm. Yep, that's that. How thick is that wire, Mike? Well, it's 36 gauge, if I remember correctly. I don't know the actual diameter. The, the thickness, is, it's about as thick as a hair. It looks like, I mean, if I had to guess, it's about a thousandth. I mean, yeah. um, maybe a bit more. I was going to say. Yeah, it's, it's pretty small. It is. It's really thin stuff. So. And if you break it, you know, you just got to start over again. Yeah, I mean, like this is the first layer. I mean, if you break it past like three layers, it's, yeah. you know, you might want to get inventive and, and try soldering the break, but you know. We're sending it out to have somebody else do it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't send it to me. Yeah. Because this is not fun, believe me. No, we gotta, we gotta go 24 this, layers of this. Yeah, it's, it's, well, it's 23 layers. It's, it's about 10,000 turns, all said and done. And it takes a long, long time. It's not fun. Yeah, no, just but, this setup here took us yeah. about two hours. Yeah, I mean, just. It's a big, yeah. a big project. And, and it, mean, it, besides being a pain, it's, it's an actual pain because you're bent over and you're holding yourself in, in one position at a time and stuff. So it's, it actually it actually gets painful. So let's reset the counter there. Okay. Yeah. We got a counter here. I made a little cam on there. Put my light on. There we go. It's kind of, might have to pull it over a little bit. And we are keeping records here. Oh so yeah, he's got first layer. We got 350 turns. We're shooting for about 400, but I uh, just get getting myself steady there. You can see I had some gaps there. So mm -hmm. the next one, all the way back. And plus, we didn't start as far back as I would, would have liked to because we had to solder it a little bit uh, farther in. But mm -hmm. we're gonna get 400 turns on this one, and then 400 all the way up, pretty much till the end. Yeah. Okay. Something like that. Keep going, buddy. Just right. another uh, 900 and. Uh... Yeah. Nine thousand, nine thousand nine hundred and yep. something. Yep. All right, keep going. Uh, Mike's on his second row here. He's doing pretty good. I don't want to disturb because he got to concentrate on that so he knows what he's doing. Let me check his camera here. Two seventy six. I got to stop him when he hits four hundred. All right. Yeah, that's cool. See how Mike is doing. Be very, very quiet. The counter's working good. A little cam lube. Yeah, 235, buddy. I think it's going to be his last one for tonight because it's getting late. And uh, after I only, only put on uh, four layers of it. Yeah, very time-consuming operation here. He's not a machine. All right, we're going to finish this up, and then uh, we'll probably start it tomorrow after work. All right, say goodbye, buddy. See you later.